Hello there, Adam Bazalgett here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today's subject, I'll show you a secret that helps keep the left arm straight. I'll reveal to you the number one reason I see when I'm giving golf lessons why people don't keep that lead arm straight. And I'll also show you not only a couple of drills, but why towards the end of the video it may be best for you to let it bend a little. Hope we'll have some fun with this. Briefly, if you're new to the channel, we'd love it if you'd subscribe. Plenty more videos coming your way, we hope. Also, Scratch Golf Academy app free at the App Store. Lots of training tools, fun stuff. It's free to you. Hope you'll check it out. So number one reason I see when I give golf lessons why people don't keep this lead arm straight, lack of mobility with the wrists, often related to the grip, we'll touch on that. When the wrists don't hinge properly, unless you want a super short stiff backswing, you have to start bending your arm, specifically this trail arm, that's the one that bends in the golf swing, and when that happens, both arms bend. So two drills coming right up, let's have a quick look at the pros so we get a good mental picture, we'll get out and get at it. Justin Rose there, face on and rear view. Let's have a look. If you put a line across the top of the wrist or the end of the golf club there for most great players, not all, but certainly most, and you take the club back to about horizontal to the ground, they'll be about at that same height. And what that means is as their body's beginning to rotate up, there's just the beginnings of a fractional push down on the golf club. You'll see that continue out there. And you can see his left arm almost get firmer and straighter as he pushes this angle out. That is what we're looking for. And if you look at it, let's take it to the top there. If you look at it from the rear angle, we get a really good view of this trail arm. Not much going on with the right arm there. Sleeve reasonably close to the body. Arm begins to push away from the body. But at about this point, you'll see that right wrist starting to bend and you'll see plenty of space here. He keeps the pressure out against the other hand. In order to do these two drills right, have to have a grip that gives you leverage. This is the old Ben Hogan drawing from his book. That pad has to be on top of the club so you can push down and create leverage. Get that thing under that pad, relax your hand, more in the fingers, acid test with one hand only. Can you push the handle down? Number one drill. Get roughly hip high. That's about where you'd really start to see a lot of wrist break. Hold the club here. Cocking the wrist is pushing out on the handle. Do you see how that makes the wrist cock? That's what you need to be doing with your wrist, this lead hand specifically, pushing it away from you. So practice this in slow motion so that as you push on the handle, you'll notice this left arm straightening the wrist cocks. Don't make the mistake of pushing the club head away from you. Don't do that. Push the handle away from you. Start to get a feel for that and just blend it in a little bit with your backswing there. You'll have the feel in no time for how that left arm should look. So drill number two, that is training the right arm or the trail arm, if you like. Once this is starting to break, you should feel something equivalent in this wrist, wrinkling the skin there. And here's what you want to feel. You want to feel for the balance of the backswing that you feel pressure through the butt of the right hand out against that glove thumb. Practice it back and forth, sustaining that. Don't let the air go out of the tires and fold that more than 90 degrees. You train that trail arm, it is a big, big plus to keeping the lead arm straight. Now, does every great player have a dead straight lead arm? They do not. I'm going to show you an example here in just a moment, then we'll get outside and we'll talk about why that might be right for you and why you need to factor that and maybe customize it. David Frost there on the left, multiple tour winner back in the day, and of course Tom Watson needs no introduction there on the right. Have a really nice three-part video course, Solid Strike Formula, how to hit solid iron shots, how to make good contact with the ball. It's free. There's a link just below this video. Hope you'll pick that up and get some benefit out of that. Let's look at Frosty here. Nice wrist cock, but certainly a little bit of bend in the lead arm. Not much there. Let's have a look at Tom Watson. And at that point, you see really nice look with that bend there in the wrist, that hinge of the wrists. And he certainly sustains space between his hands and his body. In other words, his right arm is not collapsing, but there is quite a bit of bend in that left arm as he completes his backswing. So in these cases, generally it's flexibility that's an issue. Now, if you put your hands in front of you about like so, shoulder width, thumbs in the air, I can fairly easily move mine behind my head without widening the elbows or arching my back or something like that. I don't find that that difficult. My lats are reasonably flexible. 
no gymnast or anything like that, but I'm reasonably flexible. So for me, I can keep my arms straight and let my arms swing up a little bit, get a fairly full backswing without really any need to bend my left arm. But if that's not you, if your back cranes and your elbows widen or you start to arch your back, you are either going to have a very, very short backswing if you try to keep your left arm too straight, or you're going to have to let that give just a little bit. The non-negotiables are wrist cock and a decent space in that right arm. You not see any great players snug up against the body like that. But like anything, play around with this. This is your game. This is your body that you play it in. Get away from the golf course, not just full speed at the ball. Find out what the best mixture is for you. Not just how to work these wrists and this trail arm, but how much is the right arm amount possibly for you to let that bend. Hope this helps you. Feel free to leave a question or comment. Appreciate you watching.